All right, and we are back here on the GSMC Baseball Podcast. And for the final segment of today's show, we're going to talk about what teams are on upset alert uh, going into the division series now. So I just wanted to pull up the uh, the bracket again. So obviously, it's not updated, of course, but um, so, you know, you have now the Rangers playing the Orioles, uh, the Astros now playing the Twins, got Phillies and the Braves, and then the Diamondbacks and the Dodgers. So a couple of those are uh, division rival matchups, and that's on the uh, National League side of things. Um, you got the Carlos Correa uh, revenge series, I guess, if you want to call it, um, with him playing against the Astros, so that should be fun. I Honestly, for me, I think my favorite series is going to be Rangers-Orioles because – I think the Orioles could be on upset alert. I, I really I really do think that. Um, I like the Rangers lineup a lot. And like I said, they have a good blend of young players, you know, Evan Carter, Josh Young. Um, and then, of course, you have Corey Seager, who's an MVP candidate, Simeon, Adolis Garcia with, you know, all his home runs that he hit this year. I mean, I like their lineup a lot. And I just feel like with the Orioles' rotation, you know... And listen, the Rangers have their problems too, although Evaldi and Montgomery pitched very well. Um, I don't know if they have the Game 1 starters listed. Uh, we can check. All right, so right now everything on MLB is to be determined, except uh, they got Clayton Kershaw. Uh, but let's see if CBS, because CBS usually has it. So let's see. Um, yeah, no, I don't. Uh, yeah, we still don't have starters listed. So, I don't know what it's going to be. However, you know, tomorrow we should have an idea on who's pitching. Um, so, once that happens, then I will uh, I'll make sure to bring that up. But I think the Orioles and the Braves, those, those teams can be on upset alerts. Because, listen, the Phillies, they went into, uh, they played the Braves last year, and they beat them in four, in four games. And it could definitely happen again. If the Braves aren't too careful. And the Braves are still kind of dealing with some injuries with their rotation. I don't know what the status is with Max Fried. Again, we'll learn more tomorrow. Um, and then you also have Charlie Morton, who also was injured as well. So, they got some injuries there. Phillies now, you know, with Wheeler and Nola, obviously they're not going to pitch. I don't think they're pitching on Saturday. Uh, well, Nola's definitely not pitching on Saturday. Um, so, I, they might... I mean, I think... Uh, I think Suarez might be, possibly. I don't know. We'll, we'll, but again, we'll have to see. Um, but yeah, like if you have those guys lined up, you know, games three and four, you know, and if you go back to if you go back to Philly with the series tied, I mean, it's, it's going to be tough on the Braves because those guys have been good. They were good in these two games. And obviously the Braves lineup is a lot different than the Marlins. So, but... You know, you got the home field advantage, too, with the with the Phillies. You know, if you go back with that series tied, going back to Philly, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. Now, me personally, I picked the Braves to win the World Series. I think they will ultimately beat the Phillies. But, yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be tough. It really is. And, um, you know, I was checking out, you know, the regular season numbers for uh, – for the teams, because obviously all these teams that have played each other this year at least once. I mean, more specifically, you got the Diamondbacks and the Dodgers who have played each other. Um, so the Dodgers they finished with an eight and five record against the Diamondbacks, um, and uh, the Dodgers have a three point seven one ERA versus the Diamondbacks this season, and the Diamondbacks have a five point four six ERA against the Dodgers this year. So Dodgers, I kind of. I don't. I think they're the team that's going to be least likely to be upset. Um, the Twins had a four and two record against the Astros this year. So again, I mean, the regular season. Now, now you're in the postseason, and, and things are going to be different. But you know, those are just things to uh, to be mindful of. And um, the Rangers, they went three and three against the Orioles this year. So this is like the rubber series match. Um, so we'll see what comes out on top there. I mean, the scores in those games. Orioles won the first game 2-0, 7-2. To then Rangers took the next three. Um, 
They won uh, five to two, then twelve to two, five to three, and then they lost uh, three two. So yeah, series is tied. So we will uh, we'll see what happens there. And then I think the Phillies they went. Uh, yeah, the Braves went eight and five against the Phillies this year. So um, and again, this is like the first year because now everybody's playing everybody now. So you know, there's less divisional games. Now you got you're playing your division teams 13 times instead of 19. Um, but yeah, the Dodgers and the uh, the Braves they went eight and five against you know the Diamondbacks and the um, and the Phillies. So now again, you're in the postseason. Throw that all out the window. But that's just something to think about. Um, but I think the team to be least likely upset is the Dodgers. Now the Dodgers have some starting rotation issues of their own because Clayton Kershaw is your game one starter. And um, obviously, look, Kershaw is still... Listen, this is not a knock on Clayton Kershaw by any means. But, you know, Clayton Kershaw is obviously an older pitcher now. And you would like to have, you know, you wish Walker Bueller was still healthy. Because right now, you know, he's hurt. Dustin May is hurt. Um, Because outside of Kershaw, then you got Lance Lynn and, and Bobby Miller. That could be a problem. That could be a problem. And also the fact that Kershaw has struggled in the postseason as well. So, you know, that's definitely something to uh, keep a close eye on. But I think the Dodgers, I think the Dodgers are just a better team. You know, their lineup is going to be what carries them. Um, You know, with Mookie Betts, Freddie Freeman, J.D. Martinez having a good year, Muncie. The Dodgers, I think, will move on. However, I think for the other three series, I think you could, I mean, I think the Astros, because of how they've come in, um, you know, they did win the AL West. um, But, you know, the Twins rotation, you know, with Pablo Lopez and Sonny Gray, I mean, they pitched very well. And, you know, the Astros pitching has kind of been a little suspect this season. But I think that, I I think the Astros still win that series. I, I think the Braves... And the Orioles. I think the one seeds, I think there's a chance that they could get upset. I think the Philly. I mean, the Phillies lineup is loaded. They got two great pitchers at the top of their rotation for the postseason. So, and, the you know, the Braves are dealing with their issues in their rotation. So, I, I think there's a ch- I think the Phillies can upset them again. I don't think it's going to happen, but it can happen. And then, uh, I think the team that has the best chance... To upset a team, I think the Rangers have the best chance to upset the Orioles. I really do. I really do. And that's another team, you know, with injuries to their rotation and still don't trust Aroldis Chapman in the bullpen, although he hasn't really been their closer. LeClerc has. Um, Listen, I like the Rangers lineup a lot. Orioles, their rotation is a little suspect as well. I don't really trust a lot of their guys in their some of the guys in their rotation, especially with in these big games, but we'll see how it goes. I mean the Orioles have a great lineup themselves with their young players. But I think that I think the Rangers have the best chance to upset one of these teams that were on a bye. I really do think that. And listen, I got the Orioles going to the championship series and losing to Houston. Um now we'll see how it goes. But that's right now. So I would say the best chance right now for an upset, I would say the Rangers. Then after that, I would say the Phillies. Then the Twins and then the Diamondbacks. That's how I would That's how I would rank it in order from most likely to upset the team to least likely. But let me know what you guys think. What team is, uh, what team is on upset alert in uh, going into the division series? I think all these series can be good. Um... You know, Phillies and Braves should be a lot of fun. I think the Rangers and Orioles, I think, might be my favorite series um, going into these uh, these next round of uh, playoff series. Twins and Astros, we'll see. I mean, listen, the Twins really didn't hit that much, so that's the other thing. Um, that's why I'd probably put them third. But listen, they got good starting pitching. Astros pitching has kind of been suspect, so we'll see how that goes. And then you got the Diamondbacks and the Dodgers. I just think, listen, there's concerns with the Dodgers rotation, but I just think Dodgers line up, and I I just think they're a better team. So, But listen, the Dodgers, they got knocked out. 
They got knocked down in the first round last year against the Padres. So, you know, we'll see. We will, uh, like I always say, we're just going to have to wait and see with that. But, um, yeah, we're moving right along. We're going to be... Uh, we're going to be into the next round now on Saturday, starting on Saturday. Um, you know, we'll preview those games uh, tomorrow. We'll go through the National League and the American League. And uh, and then, yeah. But uh, once again, reminding you guys, so after this week going forward, baseball podcast will be every Friday. Um, same thing, an hour and a half show, an uh, hour live stream, half hour uh, Patreon. So that will just be recorded, which I will do shortly after this. And then, uh, and then, yeah, I'm going to be doing a primarily the, uh, the, the football podcast. So make sure to tune into that. And, uh, and then, yeah, that's pretty much it when it comes to, uh, the show for today. Um, you know, obviously congratulations to the teams on moving on. Obviously teams that got eliminated, there's going to be some questions, uh, going into the off season, you know, uh, the Blue Jays. Obviously, another disappointing finish to their season. Rays as well. Brewers, you know, and uh, Marlins. Listen, the Marlins, they're just getting started. So, um, you know, you hope they're back in this position again. But for the other three teams, listen, this has been happening year after year after year after year. So something's going to have to change. And uh, we'll see what those teams do in the off season. As for the teams that have moved on, you know, I like I just said, Rangers, I think, have the best chance right now to upset their opponent, the Orioles. Um, you know, the Twins, they broke through finally, ending that playoff losing streak. And then, uh, you know, of course, the Phillies trying to get back to the World Series again for the second year in a row and trying to get the job done. And then, of course, you got the Diamondbacks who haven't been in the playoffs for a little bit. And uh, now they go up against the Dodgers. And... Funny enough, the last time they made the playoffs, they had J.D. Martinez on their roster, and he hit all those home runs, and he had, he had a great season, 2017. Now he's on the other side, you know, uh, five years later. So, you know, we will, uh, or six years later. So I think it was, yeah, 2017. Yeah, so we'll see how, uh, we'll see how that all goes. Um, but, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it when it comes to upset alerts. So, again, I think the Orioles right now are the team – that could be, that has the best chance of getting upset, I think. Um, I put the two one seeds as uh, as being on upset alert, um, but I don't, I don't think, I think I I'm more confident in Texas doing it than in the Phillies, just because like you know I, the Braves are just the best team in the entire league right now, but I don't know. We'll we'll just have to. We gotta just we're just gonna have to watch the games and find out, you know. Um, now this is a best of uh, best of three, well, best of five, but obviously gotta win three games. So, and you gotta see how the the pitching matchups are lined up as well, because that, that's not really confirmed at the moment. So hopefully tomorrow it is, because I wanted to at least you know touch upon it a little bit. But yeah, no games today, no game threes, and uh, yeah, so tomorrow's gonna be a preview day. You know how is it? you know, how these series are going to play out, although I kind of gave you my overall thoughts already on what I think is going to happen. But, yeah, that's basically uh, But that's basically it, though. Uh, so, Division Series start on Saturday. We'll get into more of that tomorrow. And, uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it for the show today. So, again, I want to thank you guys for watching. Of course, again, changes are going to be next week, but you'll still see me posting content, of course. Um, obviously I'll continue doing shorts throughout the week regarding baseball topics. Um, but yeah, things are going to be, uh, things are going to be a little different next week. So, uh, but yeah, make sure to tune in to the football podcast when I, uh, when I start that. And uh, of course, you know, the show, uh, the baseball podcast will be out as well. Um, I got to get yesterday's show up, so I'll work on that. I got to edit that. And then, um, That'll be up later today, so you can listen to that on Spotify, and you can watch the, uh, you know, the broken up into four parts, you know, on either whether it's the GSMC Sports Network channel or the GSMC Podcast Network. Um, you can watch those, uh, the broken up parts 
on both of the channels, and of course I'll have uh, some shorts coming out today as well regarding last night's games and you know the expectations for this week, uh, this weekend with the uh, the division series starting. So yeah, uh, a lot's going on. So make sure to uh, tune into that. So with that, that is all the time that we have for today. I thank you guys for watching. Uh, again, we'll be back tomorrow, 11 a.m. Eastern time. So make sure to tune in. And, uh, yeah, that's basically it. So I'm Kenneth Grunfelder signing off from the GSMC Baseball Podcast, brought to you by the GSMC Sports Network. Have a good day, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Take care.